I don't think people, and I think maybe that's where the desperation comes. If we go to my last, uh, if we go to my last segment, making money in entertainment as an independent, complete independent is not an easy thing. It's difficult because there's a lot that has to go right for it to make sense for you. Um, and what happened, and I think this still is what's going on, especially with independence. I'm not at all convinced that really in comic books that these guys were ever making money in the publication. I'm just not convinced. I'm, I'm convinced that people got paid, but I'm not convinced that it was profitable, not, as, not company-wide. And then when you start doing more research, you start to realize, well, damn, Really, all of them are either attached to some other corporation that does other things, and it's been this way for a very long time, and this includes Marvel and DC, where forever, even with the early days of DC, it was like only like three, four years in DC, where they were basically getting bailed out by another, like a newspaper, if I'm not mistaken, but they were publishing other things to justify subsidizing of DC. And uh, uh, for the most part, they've always been tied to somebody else. So it's like, have they ever been profitable? It's a question. I don't know. But because they've been around for so long and they've been operating on a model that independents can operate on, I think the, the mistake that so many independents have made is that they have tried to replicate exactly what they do and how they do it. Because they were fooled into thinking that's success when it's really like, no, 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 no. They're playing a different game than you are. If you try to play their game, you're going to be out of business. Like with pricing. I remember I used to make this point before about how it makes no sense why the how these books are priced in the way that they're priced and and they're making money. It's impossible. There's no way that all those people, if you go open any given mainstream book and you see the fucking 30 names that are on that, there's no way that they're making money off of, off of $5 product, $4 product, right? That they're selling. Maybe, I don't know, even the best ones, tens of thousands. And they don't even sell directly to the customer, which means distributors have to get a cut of that as well as the, the, uh, the retailers. There's no way that they're making money off of that. And if they is, the margins are very, very thin. And I think more people are starting to understand this. And it's like, okay, we, we can't do what they do. And even they can't do what they do for an extended period of time without some shakeup. Remember, guys, it was in off the, uh, pretty much, and I don't want to say everybody, because there may be some folks born in the 2000s. But pretty much everybody here, it was in your lifetime that Marvel went bankrupt almost technically before they got bailed out by toy biz. It wasn't that long ago, believe it or not. So as I think what's happening with, especially with comics is that the good news is that, the, the barrier of entry has been lowered. That's the great news about it. So you're having people be able to make careers out of doing things independently. So with, with things like crowdfunding and social media, and it's just made it to where people can have a direct line of sight with their audience and sell directly to them. Beautiful, very beautiful thing. But, it would be ill-advised, I see what I did there, ill-advised to replicate the model of the mainstream when you don't have the pool of money, the resources, the pool of the mainstream. That's all, that's all I'm saying. It's interesting though, because um, everybody's trying to figure it out. It's the wild, wild west out there, and I love it about the about the economics. Because I've been making this goddamn point for I don't know how long. There is no one way 
to produce shit. There is no such thing anymore as a standard. Well, no, there's a standard. It just may not make sense. And what, what needs to happen more, and maybe you can make this argument for every single industry, is that people, instead of looking at what, okay, everybody else does it this way and therefore I need to do it that way, you need to look at it like, okay, this makes sense for me. So I'm going to do it this way. However, doing it my way may not make sense for you, but that doesn't mean that there's a problem there. Our economic model uh, at the Ripperverse is different uh, from a lot of other people's. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't mean that you necessarily should replicate everything that I do. Even with my series, my making money in comic series, I'm always talking about that. I'm always bringing up that, hey, the way that I did it is this way. You probably, unless you are working under this set of these set of circumstances, you should not do exactly what I did here. Now, there's other things that I do believe are universal. But there's some things that are, I'm like, well, you can't possibly do that because it's so unique to our model. Therefore, you probably should find out what makes more sense for you. And I think that's what the entire uh, comic book industry is, is, is trying to figure out instead of trying to be copycats to everybody or thinking someone else's model uh, is a threat to yours, which is fucking gay anyway. You shouldn't ever think that way. That's that's communistic, socialist, bull, socialistic bullshit. Um, if you think of, okay, someone doing it your their way means that it's a, automatically a threat to yours. If you have that line of thinking, business is probably not um, going to be best suited for you, okay? But reassessing or just assessing in general and doing what makes sense for you um, maybe you can learn tidbits from other people and be influenced, but I, either way, you need to tailor make that model for yourself. Tailor make it for you. Tailor make it for what what you the, the confines that you uh, uh, will be working within. Don't tailor make it for or, or try to make it to fit someone's model, someone else's model. It's not yours. You can't do it. Not operating under certain the uh, under the same uh, circumstances. So yeah. So it's very interesting, and I think that as people, definitely independents, especially people that have gone from like mainstream, right, have come from it, are finding out, like, for better or worse, that okay, the the way the mainstream had been doing things just really never made sense. It was just how they did it. Especially with the direct model shit. The direct model shit is, is it doesn't make any sense. And you get some people be like, well, uh, your your situation is is not necessarily a solution, right? Uh, to the quote unquote direct mo model. And I'm like, that's the fucking point. I'm not trying to come up with a solution for a problem that isn't there. That just doesn't make sense for me to give two other middlemen a cut of the money if I don't have to do that. It's a solution for me <laughs> and, and my situation it may not be for others, but it is for me. Uh, it's not necessarily about trying to find the model to replace the old one. It's that the old model is archaic and broken and everybody should come up with new ones that are unique to themselves and their businesses. 